We are now ready to choose the statistics for our networks. So right click on the empty workspace and choose individual statistics. And in the choose results window, expand global statistics. Then expand DB query and check response times in second. Then check traffic received bytes per second and traffic sent bytes per second. Then expand HTTP and check page response time in seconds and traffic received bytes in second as well as traffic sent bytes in second. Then click OK to save the changes. Okay, so we are now ready to duplicate the scenario. So on the scenarios menu, select duplicate scenario. Then edit the scenario name to firewall. Then click OK. And now let us change the MV router into a firewall. So right click on the MV router. Then click edit attributes. In the model attributes, change it to Ethernet 2 is lib 8 firewall. Then scroll down and change the proxy server information by clicking its value. And for the database application, set the latency to constant 2 milliseconds. So let's change this to constant and make this 2 milliseconds. Then click OK. Same with the HTTP, change it from no latency to constant 2 milliseconds. Then click OK. Then click OK again to save the changes. Then click OK again to save all the settings. Then press Ctrl S to save the project. Okay, before we create the third scenario, which will block the HTTP application, it would be better to run the two scenarios first in order to gather the statistics for HTTP traffic. So click Scenarios menu. Then click Manage Scenarios. Under Results field, change it to Collect. And under Simulation Duration, change it to 0.5 hours. And click OK to run the scenario. This will take only a minute. And it depends on how fast your computer is. Then once done, click the Close button. OK, so let us gather the results because once we did the third scenario, then we're not getting any results for HTTP since we're going to block it. So from the results menu, click compare results, then expand the DB query and click on time, change as is to average, then click show, then take a screenshot of this graph and paste it on paint graph, then crop the graph and, and paste it on Word. Then click the X button and click delete button and get the results for traffic received bytes per second as well as for HTTP's traffic received bytes per second and page response. So please do the same steps that I did a while ago in taking the screenshot of those uh, results and saving it on Word for our future references later. And once done, click the close button. Okay, now let's go ahead and create the third scenario. So make sure you're in the firewall scenario. Okay, we're at firewall scenario. So duplicate scenario, then in the scenario name field type firewall block HTTP, then click OK. Now right click on the MB router firewall, then click edit attributes, then scroll down to the proxy server information, then click its value, look for the HTTP application, then under proxy server deployed, Change yes to no, then click OK, then click OK again. So what we're doing here is that we're trying to discard the HTTP traffic 